Yo! What's going on, everybody? Um, I still haven't gotten around to actually taking this out and shooting it, but, you know, I wanted to do a video on it anyway. Um, and I will make another video, um, actually, when I actually take it out and shoot it at the range. But, uh, what I have here is a North American Arms 22 Magnum, basically... Derringer style five shot revolver. Um, I picked it up at Cabela's for three ninety nine or two ninety nine, and uh, basically it comes with two two cylinders. Um, one is for the twenty two mag, and then one is for the twenty two long rifle. So you have a couple options, you have two options of what kind of round you want to run through this. Um, and I picked up these, these are 22 mag hollow point uh, varmint rounds uh, that I picked up at Cabela's when I bought the gun itself. But as you can see, that's the only way to load it, is to drop the cylinder out because get it to focus here yeah. because as you see no matter where the cylinder is or the barrel the cylinder um, you are unable to put a round in or take a round out um, it has a safety feature um, these are safety slots right here is what they call them safety slots a lot of revolvers have them um, especially 22s because the hammer you can see how thin the hammer is but that's a safety slot and you just rotate it until it's in the safety slot you didn't really see that it was off camera but you just rotate it see right now dropping it it's hard to see in there but if you look right there uh, the hammer isn't back isn't cocked back you can pull the trigger and nothing happens, but um, it's resting on a 22 round, which a hard hit to the hammer that way or dropping it on the hammer uh, could very possibly <clears throat> uh, fire that round off that, that this hammer is resting on. So, pull the hammer back a little bit, Here. rotate it to a safety slot and now the cylinder doesn't move and if you look at it it's not resting on around at all you can see there's one there's one the hammer's resting directly in between so I mean you could hit it chop it <clears throat> do whatever and it will not fire around however cocking the hammer back completely will rotate it properly and line it up with a round so you don't there's nothing you have to do special uh, there's nothing you have to think about specially um, in just pulling this out and cocking the hammer back um, <clears throat> cool little gun can't wait to take it out and shoot it um, I have been EDCing it um, I put I keep my Keltec P11 in the vehicle as like a vehicle gun and I've been EDCing this just because it's so small and lightweight and five rounds of 22 hollow point you know that's not gonna feel good <laughs> you know it's gonna do its job it's not crazy semi-automatic 11 rounds of 9 mil hollow point stopping power but <clears throat> I just been seeing it to see how I like these you know micro revolvers a lot of people say it's more of like a boot knife or even like a purse knife or anything but I mean would you want to be shot by it? <laughs> um, <clears throat> another thing I wanted to show with this video is why there's two holes here and uh, something I kind of whipped up to carry it with. <clears throat> I made this out of a pocket pistol holster. It, uh, I forget, I cut the tag off because it was annoying me, but I think it's Uncle Mike's. But uh, this was it's the same size as my Keltec P11, but I don't use a pocket holster. Um, I use an inside the waistband holster. 
But, um, yeah, I just ran to, I think it was just Walmart, and got a snap kit. And it fits down in there. And then snaps. And I just put this in my back right pocket. And it doesn't look like anything from the top. It looks like you might have a knife or like a multi-tool or something in a little holster. But from the top, it doesn't look like anything. And this is just something I thought of in five minutes. And then quick ran to Walmart and whipped it up. I mean, I'm sure they make really good Derringer style small revolver cases and stuff. But this is working fine for me. And I especially like it is because it fills up. I mean, it's it's empty space, but it it fills your pocket. So it's not like like here's the width of the gun. If it was just that width, you know, it'd be flopping around in your pocket, going sideways. I like how it sits and it stays right in your pocket. And then of course, all you have to do is just reach in wherever it is, push with your one finger. It's hard to do at this angle, but just push with your one finger right down there, break the snap, and then you have it. Um, I mean, I'm not going to EDC this forever. I just I wanted a little micro pistol for a long time, so I just went out on a limb and bought this one. Um, and I can't wait to see how it shoots. <clears throat> but, um, yeah, no real, like, crazy specs on it. Um, I'll go over those at the end. But one um, one thing I did want to show is why it has these two holes here. Put that up there. Is for this that I have in a bag. It is a really cool idea. I wish I freaking invented it. I'm making a lot right now. Um, but yeah, it's basically a foldable handle. Do I even have this the correct way? Yeah, I do. It's a foldable handle. Line that hole up. As you can see, that hole's lined up. This hole is for the buttons, and it's basically like this. Um, and then it unfolds. It also has a clip. The clip is reversible. You can put it this side or this side. You just take this little plastic insert out and then you can switch them. Um, and then it can be used as an inside the pocket. Just clip it in like you would your knife. And all you see is this right here, which could be anything. It could be a friggin' pager for all anyone knows. Or uh, inside the waistband, which I've tried it and it you literally forget about it completely. You do not know. When it's inside your waistband, you completely forget you have this um, but you can see how it goes together I'm not gonna because it's gonna take a little bit uh, put it together on camera but let me put this together real quick and grab some some more info on this and show you how this this feature of it works um, one second literally and there it is cool little folding grip uh, is what North American Arms calls it which gives it that it really fills your hand way better than this you know tiny little classic Derringer grip so I mean really cool little invention and it locks in you can hear it a little bit there but it locks in really good all it is is a V 3.5 uh, Allen key to do that there's not enough room to get your other finger in there but I mean, I wear medium-sized gloves, and that's pretty comfortable. That's pretty damn comfortable right there. Um, but, I mean, yeah, it just it gives it a completely different feel. It feels like you have a full-size pistol. Maybe not a full-size, a, a compact or a subcompact, but it's this tiny, tiny little package. And then you just um, press these two buttons in, and it folds, and it locks. It doesn't lock in but it's really it the retention's really good you know it's not there it just came out a teeny tiny little bit but the retention's good um, and then of course once you open it it does lock positively because of these these buttons when you push them in they're no longer there and you can see them they, they both snap into place so that locks it and it gives it a really nice feel um, 
you know, I'm kind of torn between just carrying it in a smaller package and just in this down in your pocket or figuring out a way um, to really conceal this. You know, maybe maybe make something up so that it's tuckable and that would just be insanity. That would be awesome for me. <laughs> um, but yeah, there's that there. The cool grip grip thing that North American Arms uh, I'm jealous they have the rights to because I kind of thought of something along these lines before but obviously that's too late <laughs> um, just go over some specs real quick uh, the model number the part number from North American Arms is NAA dash MSC dash HG that's their part number, model number. Um, I think it's something with hand grip, HG, I'm not sure. But good texture on it as well. It is kind of like a, just the plastic, but has good grip to it. And uh, when I do shoot it, I'm going to shoot it both ways. And uh, hopefully in a video in the future, talk about how it was both ways, you know, the tiny little way like this, or the the full size handle way like this. Um, let's see, it's a 22 Magnum, comes with an extra barrel, or cylinder, rather, comes with an extra cylinder to shoot 22 long rifle. Um, the barrel is one and an eighth inches long, five shot capacity. Um, they do make models of this exact pistol with the folder and everything I do believe they do make it with the folder but uh without the interchangeable cylinders um the firearm type is called a holster grip okay so that's what the HG holster grip because this is doubles as a holster and a grip makes sense um caliber 22 mag as well as 22 long rifle I did see a note somewhere uh, when I was looking into buying one that it it shoots the snake shot or the the 22 shot shell shells just fine so if that's a reason you might be buying this uh, look into it yourself but uh, I do remember seeing something that it takes them fine um, overall length is four and three quarters inches overall height I'm guessing this is without this is uh, two and seven eighths inches the width the total width overall is seven eighths inches which doesn't look like it looks like the holster grip minus the, the clip on it line I mean works out to just about that as well um, weight of it unloaded is 5.9 ounces insane for a pistol you know the ability to take five people's lives with just this tiny little thing uh, just blows my mind in such a small package um, I mean a lot of people hate and will never carry a 22 but really do you need uh, 30 rounds of 45 on you at all times are you gonna get in some crazy firefight you know a lot of times, even just pulling out something like this will stop someone. Unless they have a gun and a bigger gun, then you need to get to your bigger gun, which I always keep in my vehicle anyway. So, I mean, this... I can't really see needing any more than this, you know? I mean, I love to carry my my big one. It just It's way more peace of mind than this little thing, but I'm going to give it a try and carry it for a little bit. Um, but yeah, other than that... This video has gone on long enough. Um, this is the North American Arms 22 Mag holster grip. <laughs> um, little Derringer style mini micro revolver. Have a good one.